Hello everyone and welcome to episode one of our caravan or renovation series. I don't know how many episodes there's going to be because like, in my head we're like we haven't got that much to do, just painting, but there's always more than you think and today we're going to begin by gutting the van, the caravan, of things that don't need to be in here like the furnishings, the curtains, the TV, the microwave, all that sort of stuff. Get that out and then we can really start on the nitty gritty stuff. So Theo wanted to take all the handles off by hand and I think you're regretting it now? I'm regretting it muchly because, <laughs> I don't know, they're just a lot longer than I thought they were. I thought it'd be kind of really small screws that come out within seconds and in fact that just took me like well over a few minutes to do and I've got about Well we've got all of these, <laughs> all of them all around here, all in the kitchen, so But yeah. the reason is, I don't want to use a drill because you can just overpower things and you'll just end up like shearing or breaking the screws, so I think for something old, like them screws have been in there a long time, it's worth taking the time and doing it slowly by hand. Especially because we're reusing these screws. Exactly, yeah, we want to reuse everything. We were thinking, oh, we get new handles, but finding new handles that fit the holes that were previously there and the expense, we're just going to spray them gold and make them look much nicer and more modern. Yeah, so as Theo said, for the expense, we don't want to spend a lot of money on this. We've got a really limited budget because, like we said before, the caravan itself is actually in really fantastic condition. So rather than having to buy like 50,000 handles, because there's handles everywhere, we thought we'd just get this gold spray paint. Theo is very good at spraying stuff. He sprayed a lot of things black for the van. So we're hoping that we can just spruce them up with gold and they'll look good and not tacky, but we'll just go away and see. Theo's got to take them all off first, so. <laughs> Check out the wiring behind. That's pretty intense. So these lights are coming out because we don't like the look of them and they're just kind of pointless because there's lights underneath. So we'll take and them off. They're mains only lights? Yes, they're mains only, which is just a waste of power. And they're fiddly to get off by the looks of it. <laughs> there we go. Hey! So this is the beautiful light that we're getting rid of. <laughs> I'm not going to miss it. Right, I thought I'd just talk to you guys a little bit about painting a caravan. Now, you might not be aware. I mean, it's not something that, why would you know about it? But basically, this, this wood all around me is not real wood. I know you might be, you might be shocked by that, but it's laminate wood. So you can't just paint straight onto that. Now, we're in Portugal, so I did a lot of research into caravan painting and all that jazz, but Basically, you need to prime the wood first and all of the blogs that I looked on, they recommended this primer that if we were in the UK, it'd be really simple to just go out and get it, but we're in Portugal, so we had to use our brains and try and think, what would it be in Portugal? I've actually got the Google Translate app, which is amazing. So we went to the DIY store and we found this primer. Now this is a primer for PVC, laminate, glass, loads of different kind of things. It's basically exactly what we needed. So what we're gonna do is sand all of this wood and then give it a lick of primer before we can paint it. So you wanna use fine grit sandpaper and we bought a multi-pack because it was cheaper than buying them individually. We've got 10 different types, 120, 180 and 240. Obviously the higher the number, the finer the grit, but these will be great for going all over this and making it nice and adhesive for the primer. So let's get sanding. So we've sanded the whole front section. You can see there's bit, we need to wipe it down to get all the dusty bits off. But we've sanded all of this down now. Hell of a lot of sanding, my arms ache. And I'm just having a two minute rest before I head into the kitchen area and sand all of that down because uh, there's actually a lot of surface to sand. This is probably the most boring part of the whole thing, I've got to say. Theo is still unscrewing different handles and things like that. How can there be that many handles in such a small space, I hear you ask? Because there's way, 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 way more than storage than we thought there was. But yeah, I'm going to carry on sanding. This one that I'm using right now is the 180 sandpaper and I actually have only used one sheet for this whole area, so I've got way more than I need, which is fabulous, so let's get sanding. 
I'm really excited to work on this bit here because I've got some cool design plans for this little area. We need to put some really beautiful glasses in behind there. We might take the glass out and swap it with something else, but we'll just have to see. But is that fiddly? Yeah, very fiddly. <laughs> Get in there. Hopefully if we spray this thing gold as well, this rail, that'll look really nice too. I think gold's gonna be a lovely color. I think it'll make it really nice. Fingers crossed. <laughs> So she's all sanded now and I can't really tell on camera but you can see bits where the sanded stuff has kind of congregated in the corner so I'm just going around now and brushing everything off before I do a coat of primer and Theo is over here <laughs> he started painting on the roof we've decided not to primer the roof we're just painting straight on with white paint just because I read in some vlog, um, blogs where people had done it straight on with white paint it was fine so we thought we'd just try with that but yeah it's not the same kind of material it's not that kind of shiny laminate material so the paint's going on perfectly we did a test and it dried out yeah here and it, it dried, dried so nice so it's yeah it's gonna take like two or three coats yeah but <laughs> good. so yeah i'm just dusting all of these down with my brush which here it is with my brush that uh, our good friend Seven Rose gave me for Christmas, I use it every day. <laughs> I'm just literally just wiping off all the dust and then I'm gonna prime. guys everything is primed pretty much i admit i still haven't done that door i just got fed up priming but look all that primed and dried and ready for its first lick of paint and this is the paint that we're using it's just a standard matte white paint that we're slapping on everything it's the same that we've used for the ceiling and it's the same that we're going to be using for everything else so i'm really excited to start actually putting this onto the actual cabinets and we've had a lot of people commenting on the tour that we've done of this caravan. If you've not seen that, it's on our YouTube channel. I'll put a card up so you can watch it and also a link in the description of this video. But a lot of people seem to think that we're going to be moving into this caravan now. And I'd just like to say, <laughs> we didn't spend the better part of 2018 converting our Mercedes Sprinter to only live in it for three months and then moving to a caravan. No, this is going to be wonderful accommodation for guests, a hangout space for us when we're on the land. That we're always going to be living in our beautiful van and now i'm excited to do my first lick of paint proper paint on these cabinets i wonder how many coats it's going to need guess is on a postcard a little tip for anyone who's doing any renovations paint work or anything gingy what are you doing <laughs> wrap your stuff in plastic bags if you've got to carry on doing it overnight the next day sorry and you don't want to clean it it keeps them moist so they don't dry up and you can just reuse them again tomorrow so my paintbrush everything that i used yesterday i can just use again today first coat of proper paint oh <laughs> check it out it's white <laughs> so I've done a couple of layers and I'm getting a little bit paint crazy like I have done I've lost count of the <laughs> number of paint layers I've done I've stopped to have a coffee because I've been doing this for three hours solid and I just needed a little break and I went out and I got my coffee and I came back and seeing it from not being in it for about 10 minutes really was like whoa okay i actually can see a difference here the millions of layers of paint are starting to actually make a small dent on me dent on the caravan and me personally but it's really cool you can see the difference now you can see what it's going to be like and there's still a lot of painting to go there's a lot of painting to go <laughs> but when it's done it'll be brilliant 
So these ones here, this is an interesting little um, experiment I've been doing actually. This one is one ahead of this one and you can really see the difference. I think this one has had four coats and I would say that that is now totally done. And that one's had three coats and you can see it's still a little bit streaky, but one more coat and that'll be done. So I'm hoping four coats all the way around will be enough. So all of this here, all these cupboards have had three. I need to do the top of there again, the ceiling needs doing again. And then we've got here, this has had one coat, so you can see it's still quite streaky. I haven't done the bottom ones yet, but I've done the top ones and they've only had one coat. So we know we've got a few coats left to go, but it is starting to change and that's what this is all about. Anyone else who's watching this video, have you done a caravan renovation kind of thing? How many coats did you have to do? <laughs> and you know, if we ever do something like this in the future, maybe I'll invest in a different kind of paint. Like we said, this is all an experiment. We're doing it on a budget. We're trying to spend as little as possible. We don't really have to do anything to the caravan. We're just basically giving it a facelift. You know, all the electrics are fine. The bedding's fine. Everything's fine structurally. There's no damp, mold, nothing. It just wanted to make it look a little bit more modern. So that's all we're doing really. So paint's the main thing and it's long, but I've been listening to an audio book. It's been getting me through. <laughs> this is incredibly exciting. So I, stopped abruptly last night because we had a friend come round and unexpectedly and I just couldn't get back into the flow of painting so I stopped and then I've come back in this morning and it's just <laughs> it's really crazy to suddenly realize how much different it is I'm just gonna go back to when we first got here and now look at what it's like it's so much lighter an area there's still patches that I haven't painted because they've been awkward to get to or I need to move something off the wall or whatever. So I haven't done that bit yet, but the majority of it is done. <sighs> and I love it. I'm not gonna lie, I've also lost count of the amount of coats that I've done. But as you can see, it's totally covered. It's totally covered up here. These are all done. I love the way it looks. It just looks so nice. So down here, this has only had one coat. That's had about four. You can really see the difference. So if you are painting a caravan, persevere. Look at that, oh. It's just made it seem so much more modern. It's wonderful. I've even painted the edges here. This needs a couple more layers, as you can see. It's a bit streaky. And I'm thinking about updating the work surface here, but what with, I'm not sure yet. I'm so chuffed with how it's all turning out. It's been such a fantastic learning process for me. I've never done anything like this before and I'm actually really enjoying it. It's been a lot of fun and 2019 has gone off to such a good start. It's February now and I already feel like I've learned so much this year with the caravan, with the outhouse build. Me and Theo are really learning new stuff every single day. We've never done anything like this before. And it's really a lot of fun. And I'm really happy to say that today's video has been sponsored by Skillshare. If you don't know about Skillshare, it's an online learning community with thousands of classes in design, business, technology and more. The premium membership gives you unlimited access to high quality classes from experts working in their field so you can improve your skills, unlock new opportunities and do the work you love. And we've got 500 free two month passes for our followers. So the first 500 people who sign up to Skillshare can get a two month free trial to their premium membership. So check it out, do whatever you want on there. There's literally classes on everything. It's fantastic. So give it a whirl. Let me know if you sign up and what classes you do. I've had a lot of fun over on Skillshare and I'm really excited to share it with you all. So enjoy it. Snap that up because they're going to go pretty fast. There's only 500. And one of the next tasks that I've been thinking about a lot is painting the walls. I need to do something about the inbuilt curtains that there are. So these have got a screen and like a mesh behind them. I can take them off by screwing them off the wall here but I really don't want to mess around with this so I think what I'm going to try and do first is just masking tape the hell out of all of this and just see if I can get around that and paint around it if it doesn't work plan b and I'm gonna to have to unscrew them all from the walls 
And don't worry, we have got different colours that we're going to be putting in here, which is the next stage after the white. So we've got this beautiful blue colour. And then I was just going through our supplies from the UK they brought over with us. And I found this. This was just a little sample pot that we got from home base for like a pound when we were doing the van. And it's like an off-white colour. I'm just trying to think where could I put it? I'm thinking behind here of having a really bold statement piece of maybe wallpaper or something. And I'm thinking of possibly leaving these plain. But then I was going to have these, that lovely blue colour. But I really want to use this somewhere, so... Where could I use you? Join us on Patreon for exclusive content and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.